Today I'm gonna to start shopping for a bike in America. I figured the first place I should go is the last place I bought my Hayabusa. So that's where I'm headed right now. And this one is in Erlanger, Kentucky. Police got somebody. Going south on Dixie Highway. So I'm not sure if this place is open or not on Sunday. I think I went there for an oil change and they were closed before. It's just a small little shop, but this is where I got my Hayabusa. They gave me a really, really good deal on it. It wasn't the color I wanted, so I called around to see if I could find another color and the other shop said at the price that this place was giving it to me for, snatch it up quick, because I got it for $12,900, brand new. Too bad they're closed. I'm gonna try to peek through the windows a little bit, see what they got. Yeah, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. They are not open. Closed Sunday and Monday. Dang, I can't come tomorrow either? <laughs> so there's the inside. Oh, look at that Honda. That looks pretty nice. Good to have windows we can look through. <laughs> Big Kawasaki. Jixxer 1000. We got a couple of those. Over to the right a little bit is where my Hayabusa sat. Looks like they don't have one there. Yeah, it's just a small little shop, but they got a pretty decent amount. Oh, look at that little Grom. Is that a Grom? <laughs> That would be fun. I think I might pick something like that up in the Philippines. I rode somebody's on the trip before I left and it, it was kind of neat. But uh, yeah. Looks like they got a few nice bikes in here. I need to go check them out. Maybe they got a ZX-10R. I don't see a Hayabusa anywhere. Come on guys, really? No Hayabusa? Gotta have the Busa in here, the king of all. There's a couple of CBRs right there. Yeah, I'm peeking and peeking through these windows, but I... I'm having trouble seeing what all's in here. It looks like they have two ZX-14Rs. I'm guessing that's a ZX-14R and the one next to it across, and the one across from it. But yeah, hard to tell through the windows. Sucks that they're closed, but it seems like they got a pretty decent amount of bikes that I'd like to check out. So I think I'll come back later. They got some stuff hidden in the back in here. Oh, I didn't know they had more bikes back there. That is a Suzuki something. The first place I tried to go to was a fail since they were closed. But in the same area in Florence, Kentucky, they have a Harley Davidson dealership that is actually a really nice one. So I'm gonna see if I can check that out and hopefully they'll let me bring the camera in. We are very, very close to that Harley dealership. And I've had lots of requests for the Harley dealership in the Philippines. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get to that one, but how about we'll start it off in America at a Harley dealership. Yeah, there's the Harley sign. Florence, y'all. <laughs> that is a very popular landmark. All right, we got one open bike shop. So we made it to Harley Davidson in Florence, Kentucky. Looks like they have a uh, metal art piece. Horse. Ah, for horsepower, I guess. I get it now, I get it. So thoroughbred, because we're in Kentucky, and it's thoroughbred Harley Davidson, so they have a statue of a horse. Got it. That makes perfect sense now. There you go, see? Sport bikes, that we, that's what we need. There's a Yamaha. So right next to the Florence Y'all Water Tower, and behind the Florence Mall. Big, big Harley Davidson shop. Next door, they got some uh, little restaurant. Looks like a old styled restaurant. May have to check that out afterwards. So let's take a peek and see what's inside. Nice bikes for sure, but cruisers aren't really my style. Maybe someday. Something like this don't look too bad. You like that one? That's not bad, $26,908 for a Harley. I don't think that's bad. I don't really know Harley prices. I just know they're expensive. But you like this one, huh? That is pretty badass, the air filter sticking out the side. Wow, that thing is massively huge. There's your cross-country vehicle. $31,000. Ooh! Hey, tell me that don't look comfortable. There's that logo again. Live to ride, ride to live. 
All digital. I guess they are nowadays, right? Yeah, these are too big for me. <laughs> it's gonna show me a, their sport edition, like, performance, performance edition. This one's all about performance. All about performance. <laughs> Pretty cool wall. Right there. That orange one? Yes. The orange thing. It's got rear mounted foot pegs, inverted forks, dual copper pistons on the front, big Brembo brakes. That's all the same good stuff you'll find on any big RR race bike. And it's only $8,995? Yeah, no, they're that, hard to find. Yeah. Awesome. 1200cc for nine grand. So that's less than what my Hayabusa. Well, naked sport bikes. That's what this is. Okay. It's a naked That's sport the big bike. rave right now, the naked sport yeah. bikes. Oh yeah, and Harley's been doing it since 2009. A lot of people don't like riding these because they're so aggressive. Too much torque? A lot of torque, a lot of power. Well, I mean, you ride a Busa, so, you know, you're looking at 180 horsepower where this one's 125. Come on. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect you to turn it on. Awesome. Oh, yeah, man. I never had a Busa. I had two Jixxer 1000s, CBR 1000s, 954s. Oh, that's that's nines. too much bike for me. Uh, not enough, not been, enough weight I'm for that many guy. CCs. Busas are long. I don't yeah. like that. The CBR 1000s short and stubby. That's what fits yeah. me. I love Busas. Don't get me wrong, I love a Busa. I think people, have you ever rode one for long no, term? No, that's it. I haven't even rode See, Of all the things I've raced and rode, it's never been a Busa. Yeah. Like when I first got it and all my friends and everyone that's uh, like the guy that taught me how to ride a bike, he has a 750 GSXR. He wouldn't even touch my Busa. He, he really? wouldn't take it for a ride. But it's really not that bad. No, Once you get used to it, it's not bad. It's just a different type of feel and different type of riding. It is. It's and they can lean and line. corner and do everything. Oh, yeah. I flipped my Yamaha 600 doing a wheelie at 30. And oh, ever, yeah, since, no ever since that, I could never bring it back up high again. Yeah. See, I, so. the, the guys I started racing and riding with, they said, go out on the highway. If you're going to learn them, you're going to learn them here. Because that time you mess up, you pay for it. Wow, go on the highway and do it? Jeez. My first wheelies were going 80. I have never rode a Harley. Never? Never. Spoil you. Me coming off sport bikes, and I'm sport bike through and through, these are the way to go. Comfort, performance, fun, everything in there, but you're not pushing yourself to do 150 mile an hour everywhere you go. Yeah. I rode a cruiser. Uh, my friend was drunk. Someone had to take this bike home, so I rode that, but your feet were like in front, yeah. in front of the bike and everything. And That's all about comfort. Oh my God, that was so hard to ride. I was like, I'll never do that again. They're, but, they're different. Once yeah. you get used to them though, I mean, it's all comfort. Well, this one's got them right here. Yeah, that's so. around the foot. That's what I mean. That's from the sport racing. You have Reynolds? Oh yeah. Yeah, once you go to touring, there's no going back to riding sportsters anymore. <laughs> it's, it's just, you get the big motors, the radio, the comfort. Set cruise control at 105 and just enjoy your ride. Oh, they have cruise control? Thank you. That would be a nice option to have. Throttle locks. Mm -hmm. How's that work? Cranks it up. How do you set that while you're riding then? Same way. You're supposed to do it like this. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. But that's the downfall of throttle locks. When you panic, it's stuck. Harleys are a lot heavier. There's a lot more metal. This is why we hold our value more. Yeah, I like the pegs on the sides. <laughs> so this is the most like naked sport bike feel. This yeah, one oh yeah, right here. That, that is the closest thing you'll probably get to a sport bike. On a Harley? On a Harley. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a naked sport bike. It's exactly what it is. Inverted, for, inverted forks and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's what's funny. When you start looking around at little stuff, you'll see a lot of sport attitude in it. I mean, you got the fat one of your rear tires, just like the big bikes. Nice price tag, too. I thought all Harleys were like 30 grand or something. No, that's what people think. That's, that's the misclaimer there. Harleys that's aren't cheap, but when, when you buy your Harley, you invest your money into your motorcycle. Um, you know, Boosters are great bikes. But when you go to sell it, you're not going to get nowhere close to what you probably have in it. Or <laughs> I've been looking at Busas. There is no way in hell I'll buy a used Busa. No. Because they're trying to sell them for ten grand, and I can find a 2018 brand new for twelve grand exactly. all day brand, long. Yep. So yeah, a used one. There's like. 
And I mean, and these no are, way. For, these bikes come pretty lax from the factory. Great power, but they're not aggressive at all. That way, man, female, new rider, old rider can get on and enjoy. Oh ride. yeah, I know my Busa. I hit a bump, and if my wrist just slightly moves. The bike almost shot from underneath oh, yeah. me. You'll, you'll gun it. Or even if, and you if you're on hard, new tires and that happens. Hard, you can feel them start to pull out from underneath you. That's what I used to love about my CBR 1000. Yeah. You could let go and you'd be sucked right off of it. My friend just bought a Blackbird. I'm supposed to go ride nice. that. Good deal. Yeah, then this one's just an anniversary edition. So at 13. That's beautiful. You know, these are numbered bikes. When those are gone, there is no more. That's beautiful how they did the. Uh, decal in there but it's not glossy or anything mm -hmm. yeah that's a legend blue denim so here's the pit bulls of the bunch there you go i think if one caught my eye it would be this one over here i don't know <laughs> it's got that old school look with that orange yep. and everything those are the new 48 specials okay. so the big thirty thousand dollar ones that's just like the super huge cruisers big baggers yep oh okay yeah. oh this feels no well, these are lightweight nimble Oh yeah, this is more comfortable than that. Yeah. And even being a smaller motor Small. with those Vance and Heinz on it, sounds like a monster truck. So it's made right here to be able to add a back seat. I'm actually a lot more surprised with Harley than I thought. I didn't think I would, well one, I thought they were way more expensive than they are. I mean, they get up there, but that is not a bad price at all. Yeah, it's a 2015, three years old, but it's still a brand new bike, and that's a nice price, and it's still beautiful. I think when they age, they only get better, right? When it's Harley. All right, let's finish this up. I want to look around up here at these, since I spent some time down there. Yeah, these are the more uh, bigger ones. Ooh, what kind of price tags are these? Seventeen thousand five hundred. Yeah, that's a lot more. <laughs> still not as bad as I thought they were massive god look janky that'd be nice and comfortable huh full-blown padded back seat speakers yeah this is like the one we looked at downstairs patches stickers oh i think those are all patches yeah patches to add to your jackets and stuff yeah even uh poker chips <laughs> are you from the area I, I, yes and no. I used to live in Lexington, but I moved up here and live in the Philippines and like back and forth all over the place. That's why I'm like, uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> this jacket. That's freaking nice jacket. I like that mesh jacket. jacket, the best jacket I don't see a... See, it's 110. 110. Oh, not bad. Oh. You could like see through it. Yeah, yeah, the mesh, that's really nice. And you could also put padding. Your elbow pads and arms, shoulders. Some have a back pad that you put. This one does not, but they're. Nope. There's some thicker ones. Jean jackets. This is where you get all your patches sewed on. <laughs> Big old stickers. Yes, sir. Oh, for baby Camote. <laughs> What's it say? Stroller today, Harley tomorrow. <laughs> for baby Camote. They even got stuff for girls, see? <laughs> Children's section. <laughs> see, that's the one I like, just the plain normal logo t-shirt. But it's gotta say Florence, Kentucky on it, right? I'm sure they have those. Or at least say Kentucky. Not bad styling, Harley. It's not just for old people no more. Yeah, they got lots of clothing, accessories and everything. Hats, jackets, tons of t-shirts. Yeah, that one's nice. Yeah, I'm surprised that some of the styles they have is nice. That's a little, that's massively huge, but nice style. Come on, Harley, get with it. I know you tried before and it didn't work out with Buell, but make a sport bike. Come on, we need crotch rockets from Harley Davidson. Harley's got a dope helmet that comes apart in pieces. That's the pilot. The pilot, yeah. You don't have that one? We do not. I... We do at our Cincinnati store. Okay. That's freaking nice itself. See, you guys should have sport bikes. That is a, definitely a sport helmet. <laughs> yeah, wallets and everything. 
There we go, thoroughbred. See, they have their own shirts. I guess they're over here. These are girl ones. I'm sure they have the men's ones too, the collectibles. Opened my eyes up a lot about Harley. I did not expect these prices and everything. And actually some really nice styles on the clothing too. Thank you. So. Hey, appreciate it, fellas. Yeah, thanks, day. man. Appreciate it.